Getting familiar with Qt C++ environment. Qt Creator provides a cross-platform complete integrated development environment for application developers to create applications for multiple desktop, embedded, and mobile device platforms such as Android and iOS. It is available for Linux, Mac OS and Windows operating systems. First, open your favorite browser and search Qt Creator 5.9 download. Go to the second link with URL download.qt.io. Download the exe file as shown. Your software starts downloading. Now, Right click on the setup and select the option for run as administrator. Click next button. Here you either register or skip the registration part. Click next button. Select all components. Click next button. Select the checkbox to agree to the terms and click next. Click install. Here starts your program installation. Wait until it becomes 100%. Qt Creator is installed successfully. New project can be added either directly from the link here or by selecting new from the file menu. These are the templates available in the Qt C++ Creator. Select project in the template and select Qt widgets application template. In the introduction and project location dialog give a meaningful name to the application and browse location. Give a name for the class and leave all other fields as default. As it is a demo program leave the name as main window. This class represents the main window of the application. Project created will contain these files. The header file source file and form file fields are automatically updated to match the name of the class. These are menu options available in AQT Creator. This the project pane and these are the files created while creating the project. Go to project pane. This is the header file of the created class. Now design the user interface. This is the user interface file stored with an extension of .ui. We can design the user interface here using this toolbox. Different types of widgets are available here.
We can add new menus here. To add a widget drag and drop the widgets into the design as shown. This is the properties of the selected widget. We can rename and alter the properties of the widget here. To add a function in the button click we can use the QT signals and slots mechanism. A signal is emitted when a particular event occurs and a slot is a function that is called in response to a particular signal. QT widgets have predefined signals and slots that you can use directly from QT designer. Right click on the button select go to slot and add signal for clicked. A private slot is added to the header file and a private function is added to the source file main window.cpp as shown. This slot is declared here in the header file. Execute the project.
this are menace created.